I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. It's red. What the? the United States has been an influential world power for many years. However, it is currently facing a series of critical events, from the attempted attack on Donald Trump during a campaign to the approaching presidential elections. Global attention is completely focused on the country, and the results of these elections could have profound implications both political and spiritual. So what's going on with the United States and Donald Trump? What lies ahead for this nation? And what does the prophecy say about these current events? Even non-Christian analysts and politicians are discussing these predictions. In this video, we will explore these crucial themes and analyze their potential impact on the nation's future. We will also discuss the factors that can speed up or temporarily halt this prophecy. If you want to discover what the approaching prophecy is for the United States and the fears it generates, stay until the end of the video. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you whenever we publish a new video. Let's get started. Without a doubt, we live in difficult and prophetic times. Events on a global level have dismayed everyone, but a recent event in the United States raised alarms worldwide due to its influence as a power. In recent days, the whole world has been very attentive to what is happening in the United States, both because of the presidential elections that are approaching at the end of the year and because of the reaction of powers such as Russia, China, and the Middle East who are watching closely to understand how what kind of government they will have to deal with in the coming years. Furthermore, as you well know, the news has been focusing on the recent incident on Saturday, July 13th, in the afternoon, when a young man tried to assassinate Donald Trump. This event generated an avalanche of videos and speculation on social media about the young man's identity and possible motivations behind the attack. On the other hand, President Biden decided not to run for election, leaving Donald Trump as the main candidate. The question now is, what will happen in the United States if Donald Trump returns to power and what will be the implications of his post-presidency? Now, for those of us who study eschatology, this moment has led us to look more deeply into biblical prophecy. Some scholars have drawn attention to one prophecy in particular that could have significant implications for the country. Even people who are not Christians are discussing the possibility of important events materializing in the United States. The fulfillment of this prophecy could be affected by a series of events that could unfold in the coming months. It is essential to pay attention to these factors to better understand the implications and possible outcome of the situation. But you, dear listener, may be wondering, what biblical prophecy are we referring to and why do we affirm that its fulfillment is conditioned on certain specific events, so that you can more quickly and easily understand all the signs around us? In difficult times like the ones we are living in, it is crucial to be aware of the prophecies that are being fulfilled. Many still don't realize what is happening in the world, and that's why I decided to offer a special gift to all channel subscribers. An exclusive digital ebook entitled The Secret Behind the Holy Bible. In this book, you will find impactful revelations about biblical prophecies that will surprise you. Don't miss this unique opportunity to gain valuable knowledge. Downloading is simple and immediate. Just click on the link available in the first pinned comment. Remember, we only have a few units available and they are selling out quickly. Don't leave it for later as the ebook will soon be taken down. Enjoy now and guarantee your gift. Before explaining the prophecy, it is essential to analyze some key aspects about the United States, both from a political and prophetic perspective, to better understand what is coming. To understand the current role of the United States, 
it is essential to examine its rise as a superpower after World War II, especially after the use of nuclear weapons in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The United States has emerged as the dominant power globally. Victory in the war and the ability to develop and deploy nuclear technology marked a crucial turning point in its international standing. Since 1945, the United States has established itself as the world's leading military and economic power. This status has allowed them to exercise a global leadership role, imposing significant influence over international policies and the balance of power. Powers such as Russia, Germany, and Japan recognized and respected this position of supremacy. Thus, the United States became the main actor in world geopolitics with a considerable impact in both the economic and military spheres. Although the United States remains a dominant global power, in recent years we have witnessed a slow but discernible decline in its preeminence on the international stage. This trend reflects a progressive deterioration in its global influence and power. Currently, the United States is facing a serious economic crisis characterized by exorbitant international debt and unprecedented inflation. This economic panorama has been accompanied by a notable loss of respect internationally. The perceived weakness of the current administration has led several countries to question and challenge American authority, evidenced by the recent presence of ships from rival nations in the Caribbean. This situation reflects a decline in the global influence of the United States which has historically been considered a feared and respected superpower. Although it is still a world power, its ability to exert influence and maintain its leadership status has significantly diminished. What is particularly worrying is the possible proximity of a prophecy that anticipates the fall of the American empire. In this analysis, we will examine this prophecy in detail and discuss the factors that could hasten or delay its fulfillment. Despite the concern this prospect may generate among those who value the United States' role in the world, it is crucial to understand the reasons behind the prediction of its eventual decline. When analyzing the eschatological prophecies contained in the books of Ezekiel, Daniel, and Revelation, it is observed that the United States could have a significant influence in the final period of history, particularly in the last week of Daniel. This week refers to a seven-year period during which the Antichrist is expected to exercise his dominance. Detailed review of these prophecies suggests that, in the context of apocalyptic events, the United States could experience a decline that would prevent it from playing a prominent role in the events of end times. In this video, we will explore the reasons and factors that could contribute to the downfall of the United States as a global power within the scope of eschatological biblical prophecies. Firstly, biblical end-time prophecies, specifically in the books of Ezekiel, Daniel, and Revelation, do not mention countries like the United States. Instead, nations like Russia, Turkey, and other regional entities stand out. This absence is particularly significant given that we are approaching the period of the Great Tribulation and the United States has been a dominant power in recent times. The lack of reference to the United States in the prophecies suggests that in the context of apocalyptic events, the country may not play a prominent role. If the United States had significant relevance during the Great Tribulation, we would expect at least a symbolic or indirect mention. This omission raises the possibility that the country may not be present as a global power during the fulfillment of the final prophecies. Second, biblical prophecies indicate that during the end time, the world will be ruled by a coalition of ten kingdoms or countries that will cede their authority to the beast. Let us read Revelation chapter 17, verse 12. And the ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have not yet received the kingdom but for one hour they will receive authority as kings together with the beast. Given this scenario, the question arises, could the United States be one of these ten kingdoms that form the final alliance and surrender their power to the Antichrist? 
When examining the eschatological prophecies about the ten kingdoms that dominate at the end of time, it is observed that these kingdoms correspond to the region that was under the control of the fourth beast described in the book of Daniel, that is, the Roman Empire. Let us read in Daniel chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. After this, I continued looking in the night visions, and behold, the fourth beast, terrible and terrifying, and very strong, which had great iron teeth, which devoured and made in pieces and trampled underfoot what was left. And it was different from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. And behold, there came up among them another little horn, before which were three of the first. Horns were plucked up. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man and a mouth speaking great things. Daniel was unable to compare the fourth beast to any known animal. What he says about her is that she was terrible and amazing and very strong. In the previous vision we saw in Daniel chapter 2, this beast corresponds to the legs of iron and feet of iron mixed with clay related to the Roman Empire. This was characterized by its strength and organization, but also by its cruelty. And Daniel continues his description by saying, It had great teeth of iron, and it devoured and tore in pieces, and trampled underfoot what was left, and it was very different from all the beasts that appeared before it. Daniel notes some additional characteristics of this beast that he will later expand on in his interpretation. First, he noted that it had ten horns, which he later clarified referred to ten kings. But then another small horn appeared, which grew so much that it caused the removal of three of the first horns. The prophet was very intrigued by the little horn, upon which he says he had eyes like those of a man and a mouth that spoke great things. In fact, this little horn with a human face is presented as the culmination of this part of the vision, and Daniel will later ask about its meaning. This empire came to an end in the 10th century but there continue to be numerous efforts in the modern era to revive that ancient ideal. For this reason, many believe that this important stage was not fully completed during the ancient Roman Empire, but that it will resurface again in the days of the end, being the scene of the manifestation of the Antichrist, the definitive beast. Therefore, according to the prophecy, the world government in the final stage will be exercised by a coalition of ten kingdoms located in the same region that governed the Roman Empire, covering mainly the Middle East. Given that the United States is not in this geographic area historically associated with the Roman Empire, its role in the final events appears to be marginal. Therefore, the focus of global power and influence in the end time will be on the Middle East, excluding the United States as a relevant power in this context. Thirdly, when examining biblical prophecies in detail, it becomes clear that the epicenter of the final events will be the region where it all began, the Middle East. Prophecies from the Old Testament to the book of Revelation emphasize that both the beginning of biblical history and its culmination are concentrated in this geographic area. The Middle East is where the key events of biblical history and the first prophetic revelations occurred. This region was the scene of important historical and spiritual events described in the scriptures. Given that America was discovered long after the establishment of these events and prophecies, its relevance in the context of doomsday prophecies appears to be secondary. In the book of Revelation and elsewhere in the Bible, the focus of eschatological events is clearly located in the Middle East. This reflects the centrality of this region in the scope of prophecies and the fulfillment of final events, reaffirming that the global impact and culmination of prophetic events will develop mainly in this area, rather than in the West. Fourth, biblical prophecies indicate that for the Antichrist's single currency, identified with the number 6666, to emerge, the global monetary system, including the dollar, must collapse. According to these prophecies, this suggests that the United States could face a downfall as an empire. This prospect is painful for those who value and appreciate this nation, 
which has been a refuge for many people and which, in its beginnings, was founded on biblical principles. In the past, the Bible was read in schools and was present in the White House. However, in recent years, we have seen increasing secularization, with the elimination of the Bible in many institutions and an increase in moral and spiritual corruption. The fall of the United States is not due to external threats, but to its own internal corruption. This moral and spiritual deterioration recalls the fall of Belshazzar, who desecrated the sacred vessels of God's temple, leading to the fall of his empire. In a similar way, the collapse of the United States could be a result of its moral and spiritual deterioration, that is, that God will humble it in a way similar to the toppling of the Tower of Babel. Ignoring or removing God from national life results in great misfortune. Regrettably, the United States has implemented legislation that goes against biblical principles, and we have also seen an erosion in its support for Israel. According to biblical prophecies, it appears that, at the end of time, the United States could completely withdraw from supporting Israel. This deterioration in divine principles and international relations could precipitate the downfall of the United States as a global power. The nation could face a decline in terms of geopolitical influence, military capacity, and economic strength. Unfortunately, this is the perspective that the prophecies suggest for the near future. Now, what factors could accelerate or delay the fulfillment of this prophecy? The enactment of laws that contradict biblical principles can induce a form of curse on a country, accelerating its deterioration. The transgression of divine commandments and the implementation of policies contrary to biblical teachings contribute to an increase in moral and spiritual corruption which in turn accelerates the process of decline and collapse of the United States. In contrast, governments that adopt and promote principles aligned with God's word can experience an extension of divine mercy, which can act as a moderating or delaying factor in the fulfillment of prophecies of destruction. Adherence to biblical values provides a form of spiritual protection and prolongs the stability and influence of government. Therefore, the interaction between government policies and biblical principles plays a crucial role in accelerating or delaying a nation's prophetic destiny. Let us consider the case of Nineveh. Jonah prophesied that the city would be destroyed in forty days. However, the government of Nineveh decreed a period of fasting, prayer, and repentance which resulted in God extending His mercy and preventing destruction. However, over time, Nineveh returned to corruption, which ultimately led to its downfall. This example illustrates that, when a city or nation repents and adopts laws that conform to God's word, it can receive an extension of divine mercy. On the other hand, persistence in sin accelerates God's wrath on that country. Therefore, it is crucial that we are praying for the United States, especially in the context of the upcoming elections. Although I normally do not get involved in political matters, I consider it vital for God's will to be fulfilled in these elections. Divine intervention could be crucial in determining the nation's future. Dear listeners, it is undeniable that moral corruption can progress significantly, which indicates that the coming of Christ is near. Whether the country continues to decline or experiences a period of prosperity and moral laws, the bottom line is that we are living in recent times. The return of Christ is imminent. As a church, our main focus must be our belonging to the spiritual realm, where Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We must remain vigilant and in fervent prayer, eagerly awaiting the coming of our Savior, Christ Jesus. Don't forget to download our book, The Secret Behind Biblical Prophecies. There are already more than 500,000 copies sold and we are at the last units, so don't waste time and enjoy. I guarantee that you will acquire a lot of knowledge after reading this sensational book, written with great care and love for all the subscribers of our channel, completely based on the Holy Bible. The link is in the first pinned comment. 
Of course, here is an expansion of that part. Now, as Christians, we must pray not only for the United States, but for all nations. We live in an increasingly interconnected world where events in one nation can profoundly impact other parts of the globe. It is undeniable that the United States has a great global influence, from economics to culture, and this brings with it an immense responsibility. However, Along with this influence also come significant challenges, especially in the religious sphere. The presence of false apostles and deceptive church leaders is a serious concern. These individuals, by diverting focus from the true message of Christ, can cause untold damage to the faith of many. This is why it is crucial for Christians to be vigilant and discerning. We need to pray that these leaders can truly repent and return to the path of truth. If these leaders who have great power of influence really turn to God sincerely, they could bring about a significant change in the nation. Imagine the impact that could be achieved if those who lead churches and congregations did so with a pure heart and genuine devotion to the gospel. Fervent prayer and genuine support from these leaders could serve as a light amidst the darkness bringing positive transformation not only to the nation, but also to the world. When spiritual leaders live in accordance with the teachings of Christ, their actions inspire others to follow the same path, creating a ripple effect of spiritual renewal. Furthermore, sincere intercession and the search for truth are powerful tools that God has made available to all of His children. Prayer has the power to move mountains to transform hardened hearts, and to bring hidden truth to light. When we pray for the spiritual and moral well-being of a nation, we are collaborating with God's plan for the world. He calls us to be intercessors, to lift our voices in prayer, seeking His divine intervention in all aspects of society.